Hello everyone, today's video is about simplified bolt modeling. This is an overview of bolt modeling. One is absolutely simple and fast connection, rigid connection. The surfaces of the bolt heat at end uh, contact surface are rigidly connected. It is without pretension force and without contact. Connection two, rigid connection with one beam or spring, it is possible to model the stiffness of the bolt with beam or spring. You can also use pretension force and contact between parts. Next connection is simplified bolt with one beam and screw heat in 3D. Of course, it is possible to use pretension and contact. Or for fast simulation, we can use bond contact between screw, heat and parts. Connection 4 is simplified bolt without bolt thread with contact and pretension force. You can see it in video before. Sometimes, sometimes we can use complete bolt geometry with thread, contact, pretension. This method is complex, has many elements and takes a lot of time for simulation. From connection 1 to 5, model effort simulation time and accuracy. Today I want to simulate a rigid connection with beam in PrepoMax. There is a small problem because in PrepoMax we cannot simply define one beam element. It is possible using a, a, a text, ed text editor. It is easier to create a beam in 3D and mesh it. First, a CRD model. Here you can see a quarter of a, of a welt neck flange with three bolts. I prepare CRD, create cylinder with diameter from bolt head and create 3D beams with bolt diameter. Export parts in B BRAP file. BRAP format has uh, the advantage that the indiv individual parts are exported directly into com compound parts in PrepoMax. Go to PrepoMax and import CID. Here you can see the parts are directly in compound parts. Create mesh parameter. With element size max 6 mm and min size 1 mm. Mesh it. Save my model. First, I make invisible the lower beam parts. And create boundary layer for pretension. Here you can see boundary layer is created. M make the beams visible again. Create material, steel for flanges and beams. And gasket, material for gasket. Create solid section for gasket. After this make gasket invisible and create solid section for steel parts. For rigid connection we need reference points. Create point from uh, one point and select node at the top side of the beam. After selection change the creation by two coordinates and change coordinate from Y 
plus 1 mm to 25 mm. Duplicate reference point and change coordinate from y to minus 27 mm. Now I have reference points opposite. In the same way create reference points for all beams. So we have our six reference points on top and bottom of beams. Next we connect the beams with flange. Go to constraints, rigid body, select reference point 1 and select surfaces from flange and beam. Similarly create rigid connection for all flange beam sides. Finally, make gasket visible and start sourcing for contact pairs. Source. You can see that the two, two contact pairs have been formed. The upper flange with gasket and the lower flange with gasket. I will leave it as I tube by tie. The surfaces are connected. For tight contact we don't need any further inputs. The surface are simply connected. I have a quarter model here. This means I still need symmetry boundary condition in X and Z direction. For this I create node Z. First select all surfaces in X direction of symmetry. Now we have a problem. Some nodes belong to the rigid connection, MPC, multi-point constraints and to symmetry, SPC, single point constraint. This leads to error by simulation. Uh, that is why I change Z selection to edge angle and deselect edges from rigid connection, top and bottom. I do the same for symmetry in Z direction. Next, create step, static, no linear geometry, tube automatic, first boundary conditions are fixed on the lower side. After this, create boundary conditions for symmetry X and Z. For pretension load, I make first lower beam parts invisible. Create first pretension load and select surface of beam. Force 10,000 Newton. Next beam in the middle with 20,000 Newton. First beam was with half pretension force because there is only half beam on the, in the model. And finally last pretension again with 10,000 Newton. Model is finished. I start simulation. To results, the beams are connected together with flange. It is only simplified and fast bolt modeling without contact. After first estimation, you can expand this model with bolt heads and define the contact between flange and bolt head. It was for today. See you next time. Bye bye.